Will artificial intelligence change how real estate is bought and sold? Of course it will. Hi, I'm Rick with Rick Helps Real Estate, and I may not look like it because of my age, but I consider myself a pretty techie guy. And I like change. I like new things. And AI is very fascinating to me to look at and see what it could do to a lot of different industries. Right now, artificial intelligence for real estate, the only thing it's really doing is people are putting in the chat GPT, write me a beautiful description for a three bedroom, two bath home in Gilbert, and it spits everything out that you want. But artificial intelligence is all about gathering as much data as it can and making quick decisions for you. And how much data is there? Well, let's just look at the Cromford market report here on the back end some of the numbers that they're looking at. It's a little daunting, isn't it? But think about what artificial intelligence could do in a real estate transaction or just research for real estate. The data has to be stored somewhere and it's stored in the multiple listing service. Everything from how much the house is, how much their taxes are, how many square feet, how many bedrooms, on and on and on. But you can also look at the MLS data and you can look at the trends. So let's say that you put in an address and you say, um, what does this comp for? What, see, what sales price should this house be? Now, right now we go in, we pull the comps, we look at them. We have some data services that will pull the comps for us and it'll compute some of the uh, averages for us. But if you can imagine, artificial intelligence will take it not just a step further, but hundreds of steps further by not only looking at the data and looking at past sales, but doing some forward thinking. What's the current trend in pricing right now? What's the current months of supply? Is it going up? Is it going down? Uh, what's going on in this particular neighborhood? And it can spit out a projected value just like that. Instead of us taking an hour to sit there and go through house by house and try to determine what the value is, or you just going to Zillow that's flying over 30,000 feet, you can punch in the address on artificial intelligence and it'll show up. That's one way to shorten it. Will real estate agents be replaced? Well, I think their job could be tremendously streamlined. You may even be able to write a contract by yourself. In fact, I looked here and I said, okay, let me try something. So I did something really simple here. I'm saying, let's write a contract, a real estate purchase contract for the following terms. And I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put it down into chat GPT. And let's see live while we're on the air right now, this recording, what it's going to look like. It's going to write a purchase contract. It's saying the purchase contract is made between and it's putting all the details on. Now, for now, that's not the official Arizona real estate purchase contract, but those two things will be integrated. And if you're doing a private deal, you don't need an official Arizona real estate purchase contract anyway. You're just giving it to a title company. This has got everything in it you need. And this is just in its simplest form. So look ahead a year or two, three. What could that be? It could be very easy just to type in the terms that you want. When at 450000 with a $45,000 down payment, $4,500 earnest money, closing in 30 days, 10-day inspection period, uh, buyer to pay the homeowners association transfer fee, all the details you just type out in one long line and boom, boom. You can put the seller's name, buyer's name in there. So writing contracts, I think, are going to become a lot easier to put together. The other thing to think of, too, is not only are the document, the process of the documents shorter, looking at homes. So you're going to be able to pull up a home on the web. Now, keep in mind that right now, artificial intelligence does not comb the web. In other words, they don't, they don't go to Home Depot. They don't go into Realtor.com. They just, it all depends on how much data that they're fed. But let's say you've got a house and you're looking at a picture and you go, I wonder what this living room would look like with mid-century modern furniture. Click, poof, there it is. They've taken all the old furniture, they put in the new furniture. Oh, I wonder what would this look like with my couch? Take a picture of your couch, upload it, boom, and it goes. Now you can customize that house based on how you would probably like it to look. You're also going to have artificial intelligence where you can pull up a house and go, well, I want to remodel a kitchen. I wonder what that would look like with the following features. Click, 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 click. Boom. There's the picture of your house. So real estate imagery is going to change tremendously. You're also going to be able to get all kinds of information from the neighborhood. So you want to say, okay, I want crime statistics, school statistics, 
et cetera, et cetera, restaurant walk score, everything. Please put it in a concise document for me and it'll spit it out. You'll have everything at your fingertips. Underwriting for lenders should be a lot easier. They comb through everything with a fine tooth comb. As you know, we're missing this doc. We're missing that doc. They're going to be able to take the file, throw it into artificial intelligence, and it's going to spit out what it needs, automatically email all the parties on what they're looking for, including you, the purchaser, the borrower. That process is going to be streamlined. So artificial intelligence is definitely going to change the industry. Are real estate agents going to turn into robots? No, but their job's going to be a lot easier in a lot of different aspects, especially steering you in the right direction towards the technology that can help you. Uh, they should be able to handle more transactions, not fewer. Now, in my career, well, no matter what I did, even from pumping gas, I just wanted to figure out how I could do it faster. 15 years old, you're going out and you're putting a car in a gas and you're checking the oil. You can't wait to get back inside where it's not raining. So I always wanted to find shortcuts. How can I do this faster? I look at real estate the same way. How can I prepare these documents and organize them in a streamlined fashion? And to be honest with you, there just isn't a way to do it. There are so many required documents. Well, with artificial intelligence, it'll immediately tell me which forms I'm missing. Thank you, Rick. We need the following forms. We have that in a system now called SkySlope that gives you a checklist. But setting up the SkySlope file for a particular transaction takes about 20 minutes. You got to put in all of the details, import the data, put in the address, who the buyer is, who the seller is, who the lender is. With ChatGPT, not just GPT, but with artificial intelligence, that'll all happen in a microsecond. You can just put in the address, the buyer, and the seller. And boom, it goes and pulls all the data. And you can put in the purchase price and it's going to put everything out there and say, okay, Rick, you need the following forms filled out. I've already sent them out for signatures to all parties. Oh, wait, I don't have to do that now? No, you don't. We already took care of it because we already included the emails and signatures and everything. So just think about how this would all streamline. Can I save money on commissions if a real estate agent's doing less work? Absolutely. Absolutely. Instead of doing one deal that they're working on a week, probably do four. Everything's going to be faster. It's going to be interesting to watch. Are there dangers? Well, there really isn't any more dangers in artificial intelligence gathering the data that's already out there now. Just think of the Crawford Report, how much data they get from the MLS. And they go through for hours and sort out some of the data that's, that's muddied some of the numbers. So they go through and they spend hours and hours scrubbing things because believe it or not, Real estate agents sometimes put in the bad information. Not enough bedrooms. The square feet is wrong. Um, it was not a VA loan. It was conventional. And they spend a lot of time scrubbing that. AI will do that for them. So getting access to real-time data will be a lot faster and easier to look at. Am I going to see it in my lifetime? Yep. I think we're going to see it pretty quick. I think we're going to see it in a couple of years. We're going to see things really change in the real estate industry. And I think it's going to be fun to watch. If you have any questions, shoot me an email at rick at rickhelps.com.